G'day guys, how are you? Now today I'm going to show you how you can store Microsoft Office on your Linux based distro. Um, this is really simple and I guess it's a good feature to have if you don't like open office or now what you want to do is open up your terminal, type in sudo app dash get install wine. Wine is not an emulation is what it stands for. However it is, um, I put my password on because I'm just so quick at typing and so accurate. Um, press the uh, Y for yes, sorry, I live in Turkey at the minute and um, I've been like trying to learn the alphabet. So just then I was like, yeah, but because that's what Y, Y is yeah. Um, and I was, yeah, you understand. Uh, so anyways, we'll come back when it's done. Okay guys, now that's just finished um, installing. So now we're going to type in sudo app dash get install, if you can spell it. We're we installing. Oh yes, we're installing Play on Linux. Like I said, this is not. Well, so they say. Like this doesn't always work. Like I'll be honest. Like Play on Linux, it says like, oh, we can play. You can install this. You can install that. You know, blah blah blah. But honestly, some of the times it's not always the case. Like it does not install. Um, let me just check out my Wine version. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh, okay, interesting. Not to worry. Let's up in sudo app dash get update just in case there is an update because I thought wine was running 1.7.3 just then it said 1.6.2 oh, look at all those numbers although it shouldn't matter um, I mean who knows it could matter <laughs> okay so one second it's really dark in here but if I turn the light on it looks bad so can't win anyways uh, it's nearly done I'm in like the furthest end of their house, so the Wi-Fi is really good. Okay. Come on now. And we are almost there. Yes. All right, now we're going to type in sudo app dash get up gray. I'll put all these links in the description if I remember. You know, some people they say, oh, I'll put it, I'll put it in the description, it's going to and they like, never have it, and you're just kind of annoyed with them. Like, you're just kind of like, I trusted you. Okay, so let's find Play on Linux. It's right there. If you want, you can add it to the bar. I'm going to add it there just for fun. You know. Um, okay, I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to actually find our... Yeah, don't block me. We're going to find where our file is. So my file is... Like, um, when I say file, I mean your installation for your office. Where did I have it? I think I have it in downloads. Oh, yeah, look, there it is. Look at that. So right click it, open with, we want to mount it. Or if you have it extracted, you can extract it, but I um, don't feel like wasting too much valuable space. Valuable space, you know, these days. Hard drive space is just so valuable. Okay, um, let's open up Play With on Linux. <laughs> Play With Linux, if you may. All right, so I have it here and it is opened. I would love to see my picture. Oh, there we go, look at that. Oh, killing me, killing me. All right, so let's press install and uh, let's find what we want. Uh, not games. You can type it in manually if you want. If you have a program that is non-listed, you can click it here, and, but there's like so much more options and stuff. And but this is unstable as it is, to be honest. I mean. Some games will work. You've got like a high-powered gaming system, then they will work possibly, but it's never or it's never going to run the same. So let's click on next, and uh, let's find the file where it's hiding. If you have CD, press CD. Don't have CD, search for the setup file, which is what I'm doing with my legit copy of Microsoft Office. Yeah, legit. So let's one wait. Please wait while the virtual drive is being created. And there's a glass of wine for anybody who is willing to drink it. It's getting dark quickly. Okay. One second. Maybe ten seconds. Maybe five hours. Who knows? This thing could take forever. Okay. It's being installed, so just be patient. Oh, look at that. There may be other options, like you may have to uh, install additional software. Who knows? Um sometimes you know so let's just press install now if you want you can choose what you want to install but honestly I just just for this purpose this video I'm installing everything 
Uh, for 2003, I'm not too sure if it is supported at the moment. There is no nothing on the forums of it. There are a few people asking about it, and look, I'm sure if you spent the time and that, you could work it out how to do it. With Wine, I uh, saw so play on Linux. There are so many different things that customize, and it's like honestly, it's mind boggling just how many things there are to customize in it. Um, so chances are there is something in there you could customize for it to work. But like I said, like I installed Photoshop on this computer, and um, like it just doesn't understand it honestly doesn't so I've, ha I've installed actually virtual box just over here um, let me just show you that quickly I can show you in another video how to install it but it's really simple um, the hardest part is probably installing operating system and getting that set up like for USBs and shared files and stuff like that that's probably the hardest part about that software um, so here it is here uh, so yeah, you usually press start and Windows starts up anyways so Let's wait for this. Okay, guys, it's just finished installing, and this window here just popped up, so I'm pressing close, and now it's saying, please wait while blah, 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 is installed. My legit copy. Just setting the record straight. This is legit. Legit product of the internet. <laughs> A certain boat, we'll say. A certain bay. Yeah, so look at this. It's installing something. And it's installed. <laughs> All right, so let's just press next, and there we have it. It is installed now. If you are like me, I'm not really a big fan of icons, so I'm just gonna delete them. I'm gonna empty the trash. Oops, it must be next. Deleting the shortcuts is not going to affect the program. One would think. Oops. Are they deleting? Probably not. They are. The icon just didn't update. Alright, so now we're going to go back to play on Linux. Now, uh, every time you want to um, open a file, I think you would probably have to open play on Linux first and then search for the file. Let me just go to, not that, let me just find some reports. Uh, can I go open my other application? Maybe you can set it to find this application. Let me just see. I'm sure there's a way you could, ah oh yeah, look at that, you could do it. Okay, well, if you set the default for docx to a word, I'm sure that would work fine. Um, so yeah, let's press run. And let's take a look, shall we? Microsoft Word 2010. Now look, this is probably not going to be perfect. Like oh, I would suspect there is going to be some bugs along the way. Okay, look at that. It actually, you probably don't want to do any updates either. It's, you don't do updates. Number one, this is not a Windows computer, so updates is probably not going to help anyways. Alright, let's have a look, shall we? So, um, let me move that here, make it a bit bigger so you can see my lovely face, and let's zoom out of it just because. Okay, this, this, this is a test. Um, this is a test. Let's see if it spell checker seems to be okay. Let's check out and see if we can get a picture. There are pictures there, so that opens up directly into Linux, which is good. Let's go to clip art, see what we can get ourselves. Let me see. Uh, let's type in a picture of a people. People are good. I'm going to turn the rest of the fast. If I press that, does it do anything to actually? Well, there's nothing for me, seriously. This picture of this one. What am I getting? Look at that. This is a test. And uh, let's get a font here and go to tight. And I can move it around freely. That's cool. Now let's save it. Just doing a test here just to see how long it is. This is a test. Let's find it. If I had a printer installed, would it be out of prints? I don't know if my printer is currently installed. If I click on add printer, then what happens? That's because you know, this is emulated, so it's not going to open on control panel. I guess if we had a printer, it would hopefully be there. I'm, I can't say if it would be or won't be. Um, let's send. Send is the email. Yeah. I think some features will be disabled. Which might be part of the reason why 2013 Office is having a hard time because it does have a lot of stuff with uh, SkyDrive and all that. So look, I've already saved it. I need to press that. No, I must have pressed it twice because impatience. All right, now let's go to my documents. 
Okay, let's just open it with and see if we can in this, in this word see what happens, shall we? Mm -hmm. What will happen? Well, it's just open. Oh, it's just open. Let's see. Now it's definitely slower, but it opens. And honestly, this computer is uh, like slower on like Ubuntu. Like I'm so surprised. Like you would think that it'd be quicker. But a matter of fact, it is actually slower on Ubuntu. On Windows, it is so much faster. Um, which is probably what you're thinking, why would you use Ubuntu for? I, I don't know, I quite enjoy the challenge. It's a challenge to get things to work, and I, I enjoy the challenge. On Windows, they kind of, you know, Windows holds your hand with everything, you know? You've always got something, but on Ubuntu, there's no hand to hold. Um, there is advice, and lots of it, but there is not a hand to hold like, if actually tell a lie in the terminal now, it's starting to say things like you know um, there has been an, an issue when you're typing in something in here. There's been a problem. Uh, you should type in this command, but honestly, it doesn't always work. Um, like the other day, I had a problem with source lists, and people you bunch will know that uh, I don't know what exactly was the problem, but I had to use the command and it said you should do sudo dash update or get updates update blah blah blah, and it said that would fix the problem. Well, it didn't. And um, so I had issues with it, but it was okay. Uh, okay, so anyways, that is how you get Office to work. I mean, I'm sure PowerPoint and that worked too. I haven't even tested it, to be honest. Let's have a look, show them. Where are we? Play on Linux, PowerPoint, run. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. PowerPoint. Mm, looks all right. I'm sure, I've like most people use Word and that. I'm, I'm sure they all work. Anyways, if it doesn't work, write into the comments if it does not work, okay? Uh, thank you for watching and uh, please comment and subscribe. Uh